When it comes to Ferraris from the 1990s, it's perfectly clear that they were built with two things in mind, speed and style. One part of those cars was severely left in the dust, and that's the lighting, in particular, the taillights. These taillights were used on the Ferrari 355, Ferrari 360, Ferrari 550, Ferrari 575, and the iconic Ferrari F50. Over time, these would melt and crack and fade. They aren't very bright. You've got one reverse light, one turn signal, one brake light, and even those weren't very good. Well, today, you gotta check out the Morimoto XB LED taillights inspired by the Ferrari 488. These look at home on your Ferrari as a great set of HRE wheels, and they're gonna give you the style, performance, and safety that everybody wants on everything they drive. These are the best LED taillights that you can get for your 1990s Ferrari because they're the only taillight you can get except for your stock taillights, which are trash. Inside the box, you get four full LED quad brake light, quad parking light, quad reverse light, quad turn signal, 488 inspired taillights. You get the four taillights that install exactly like your stock taillights. You get the four O-ring style grommets for installation, and you get the quad harnesses, which is where a lot of the magic happens. So let's explain how this whole thing works. This is what your Ferrari taillights look like now. You've got parking lights, and then when you hit the brakes, it looks like this. When you do your turn signals on each side, you have one very dim turn signal. When you throw it into reverse, you get a pair of really dim reverse lights. These are barely bright enough to be considered legal, and with those hot incandescent bulbs inside, over time they melt and destroy your fragile factory taillights. Now let's take a look at the Morimoto XB LED taillights installed in your car. If you wanted the easiest way to modernize the look of your 30-year-old Ferrari, you are looking at it. Man, does this look good! They're insanely bright. You've got those light pipe style Ferrari 488 parking lights and brake lights. And you've got four parking lights and four brake lights. And check this out. We turn on turn signals. You get two turn signals on each side. And they're so insanely bright. But my favorite part is this reverse light. This is like headlights coming out the back of your car. Originally, your reverse lights were designed to tell other people you were backing up, not aid the driver, but with the visibility challenges with these older Ferraris, you can use all the help you can get. Now you got it. If you've ever been concerned about driving your Ferrari at night and backing up into something because you can't see anything, this is going to be a huge upgrade in your ability to navigate in the dark. These new taillights are absolutely stunning. You can see the large red outer lens that handles your brake light and your parking light, and then it folds into itself to create that real similar Ferrari 488 look that everybody loves, and this tinted clear lens houses both your amber turn signal and that super bright white reverse light. If you didn't already know, the Morimoto XB line of products is designed to be the best of the best, and believe it or not, the guys at Morimoto are Porsche and Ferrari fanatics. So it's no wonder that these exist and they didn't before. They spared no expense building the world's greatest Ferrari taillights. The build construction is second to none. They are OEM plus quality. These are just as good, if not better, than modern day Ferrari taillights when it comes to fit, finish, and build quality. When it comes to an install, they're essentially the same process as swapping out your factory taillights. Now, because these fit multiple Ferraris, like the 355, the 360, the 575, the F50, you should be following the manufacturer's recommendations for doing this replacement. There's no tricks. It's literally take out the stock taillights, install the new ones. It's super easy. Even on the back side of the taillight, you have the same mounting points, the same type of thumb screws, and you've got the same multi-point stud locators, just like your factory Ferrari taillights have. What I mean is, you can see here, we have this stud is threaded in to this locator, 
and it has a 10 millimeter base. So if you wanted to pull that out, it'd be really easy and you'd move it to this stud locator. And that's important because the factory Ferrari taillights, depending on their position on the vehicle, some of them will be in this one and some of them will be in this one. That's the biggest challenge because you have to compare these to your factory taillights and kind of assemble them so they match so that they fit correctly. It's really quite easy to do. Here you have a factory Ferrari taillight and I'll explain how this works. You can see on this one, it has those same pair of mounting stud locator holes. And whichever one it uses, your new Morimoto taillights need to use. So in this example, the original Ferrari one is on the top and the aftermarket Morimoto stud is on the bottom. So in this scenario, all we have to do is use a deep well socket And this stud is designed to thread into plastic on one side and that metal thumb screw on the other. So because the original Ferrari taillight that we're using in this position has the stud in the upper spot, I'm going to start it by hand and then tighten it up with my 10 millimeter deep well socket. Make sure you don't over tighten it because it's very easy to strip something like this where it's a hardy piece of metal going into some plastic. But now when we compare it to the original, you can see that they're both on the upper stud locator spot. Do that for both of the studs on all four taillights so they match your OEM configuration. The next part of the installation is to replicate the original gasket that's seated on your OEM taillights. This is designed to seat the taillight tightly up against the body of the car with a cushion to prevent vibrations. The Morimoto taillight does that with these large rubber O-ring style gaskets. It's very simple. You put it around the perimeter like so, and when you go to do the install, it stays in place. You take off the two thumb screws, you feed your wire harness in first, the thumb screws in second, and you reach around to the back and you replace the thumb screws. As far as mounting, that's the end of the story. Now don't just go installing the Morimoto LED taillight harness to your car's taillight harness. Let's use the quad adapter wire harness first. The kit comes with four taillights, four O-rings, and two of these adapter harnesses. Have no fear, everything's plug and play. It's very high quality and it's very easy to install. On one side, you have the red connectors that plug into your red taillights. On the other side, you have the black connectors that plug into your factory taillight wiring. Now here's something very important to keep in mind when you're doing your install. Do you see how this one has a missing pin right here? It's in position two, one, two. This one has a missing wire in the middle here. That's position three, one, two, three. If you're not paying attention, you might plug the wrong taillight harness into the wrong adapter connector. Have no fear, nothing bad will happen. You're just gonna have some missing features. If you do the install and find that something's not working how you thought it would, just swap these around so they're connected to the correct connectors on the car. Lastly, we have the load equalizing resistors. Those are the two black metal boxes that hang off the end of the harness. It's connected up here with these two orange connectors and then these two black connectors and it ends with these two boxes. Sometimes in the box you might have these two connectors undone. Don't connect these together, they won't. They go here. Everything's totally plug and play. However it will install is okay. Even though you could connect this one to this one, this one to that, it's fine. Resistors are super easy to install because they are not polarity specific. As long as it plugs in, you're good to go. From there, you have two connectors here and two connectors here. And if I break it down, they look like this. Each black metal resistor has two wires coming off of it. And those two wires each have a male and female connector. You pair up these ones that look the same and you plug them into the only place they go. Then the remaining two connectors also look the same. You plug those into the only place they go. This side connects to your Ferrari taillight wiring. This side connects to the new LED taillights. And these two little black boxes need to be mounted up and out of the way so that they don't interfere with the heat they generate. Listen, as cool as it is to have factory parts on your Ferrari, the taillights aren't cutting it. 
The OEM stuff is falling apart left and right. They cost an arm and a leg to replace, and they're not safe or cool looking. The Morimoto XB LED taillights with the quad brakes, quad park, quad reverse, and quad turn signal is a game changer. Your Ferrari nighttime driving experience will never be the same again. But the good news is we don't just have Ferrari taillights. Go check out the website, headlightrevolution.com, put in your year, make and model, and we'll show you all the lighting upgrades you can do to your favorite car.